everyone, today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and giving you an overview of this newer 16-inch tabletop light box that I picked up. Now, if you are new here, my name is Ken, and this is Northern Viking. We bring you videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into this newer 16-inch tabletop light box. So let's go ahead and dive right into opening up this Neewer 16 inch tabletop light box that I picked up. Now it comes in a pretty big box here, so I'll start opening it. So it looks like there's a box here. We'll get into that in a moment. There's a metal piece. So we've got a Neewer customer service card here. We've got the user manual, which shows you how to put it together. And we've got a few different back drops here. So we've got a blue backdrop. We've got a green backdrop. Looks like a white one. Now these are quite large. And then we've got a black one here. So I'll show you how big these are. They're quite large, just like that. So um, they should fill up nicely in there for taking photos. So the four different backdrops there. And it looks like there's a metal piece here for the frame. So we'll figure out how that goes together. And let's have a look in the box here. So in the box here, it looks like there's some different caps of some sort in there. There's two USB cables for powering the lighting strips in here. These have a little button on them to turn them on and off. So those are cool. This kit also came with a little tripod, a fold out tripod like this, um, just like that. And then you should be able to, let me grab my phone here, take your phone and put it in here for recording. Then you can use that. So that's handy if you don't have little tripod at all, you can put your phone in there and use that for recording. So perfect. So the light box itself looks like it's made with a plastic like material, similar to maybe the thickness of a plastic milk carton, like four liter jugs or the gallon jugs, similar material to that. It's a white in color. I'll go ahead and set this up and then we'll take a closer look. So the instructions say to pull gently on the sides like this and it should pop open just like that. So these little arms are holding it in place and newer ah this must be where that cover goes that i was talking about that'll probably cover there and open that up you can see the led strips in here okay so these plastic clips or circles must be what hold the whole light box together so it looks like you fold these down just like that and align all the holes and then you put one of those caps through from the back side, just like that. And then you can turn this cap on and tighten it into place. Okay, so it just stays in place like that with this little cap. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. This metal bar goes into the holes here on the inside of the cap. So this must help it keep shape. So we're gonna slide that in there. So as for the light strips, you've got two cables here. They're USB and one connects right here, the other one right there and they just plug in and I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting this up and then we'll give you a closer look. So the backdrops are really easy to install. There's little hooks up here in the corners, just like that, and they stay on there and you just hook them on and then just slide the backdrop in place, just like that, and you are all set to go for your photography. So I've got the LED lights hooked up. They're definitely bright, as you can see. I can, again, turn them off by pushing those buttons on and off, just like that, and you can turn them on and off separately. So. Um, that's a great option. It's going to give lots of light if you're taking photos of anything in this box. And here's some sample photos for you. This one's with the blue background, of course, the white background. And I'm noticing there's very minimal shadows. You can see a little bit of it here, but the lighting in this light box is excellent. And I'm very happy with it so far. Here's some video footage as well. So you can do short video clips in the light box as well. It's doing a great job. So what are my final thoughts on this Neewer 16 inch tabletop light box? Well, first off, I love how it comes with four different colors of backdrops, the blue, the green, the white, and the black. You just clip them on there. It's really easy to change out. It also gives off a ton of light. I'm gonna blind you again here. When I turn this on, there's so much light in there. You shouldn't get very much for shadows if you're taking photos or video. So a lot of light with those two LED strips. Again, you can just push the button, turn it on and off. The other thing is there's this little hole here at the top 
And you can just open that up if you want to take top down shots from in there, or you can take shots from the front in here. So it gives you a few different options there as well. Now, as for the material and the structure itself, I think it's good if you're just wanting to leave it on a table, not really take it up and take it down too often. It's gonna be fine for that. But if you are using it for commercial use every day, you might wanna look for something that's a little bit stronger, but it seems like it's gonna do the trick if you're just leaving it on a desk. Um, again, it is made of kind of a milk carton or a milk jug type plastic material equivalent. It's a little bit different than that. It's more of a solid color, but um, kind of give you an idea of how thick it is. So I think it'll do the trick. It's exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna leave it set up all the time just for doing some photography and video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and checking out the newer 16 inch tabletop light box. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, take care.